Nearly two years ago, I followed the How to Make a Video Game Tutorial series from Backies to create my very first game in Unity called Cubeton. So to really test if I learned anything in the last two years, let's see if I can remake Cubeton, but better. And to really test my skills, I'm only giving myself the next 24 hours to do so. Alright, it's 9.30 on a Friday night, so let's get started. Immediately, I started a new project, created a cube for the floor and the player, and we already got the game looking like Cubeton. But I didn't want to look at playing cubes again, so I downloaded these textures from Kenny, and now we have a bit more appeal to the game. Next, I added a rigid body to give the cube some good old physics. Now, if I apply a force in the forward direction, we can send our player tumbling down the runway. But I kind of expected that, and I don't know how I remember the solution that Brachys taught us. But to fix this, we just need to add a slippery material to the ground. It's now two and a half hours later, and all I have to show for this is five scripts for the quick cinematics you've seen, and a single script that applies force to the player. To finish the night, I added some quick WASD movements, but it's now 12.30 in the morning and time for me to go to sleep. I'm starting my morning at 9.30 a.m. and the first few things I wanted to add to the game is some UI. In about an hour, I got the classic Cubeton score on the top, and for some reason, I really wanted to show what controls were being pressed, so I created this cool visual here. Lastly, so that I don't have to keep track of how long it took me to add things to the game, I put a real-time clock on the top right. Next, I added the ability to jump, but to really make this more satisfying, I added a rotational torque on the player to make it look like the player is doing front flips. It makes it really satisfying now when you jump over obstacles. Then I added the ability to slow down time. And I wanted to add a little bit more interest to this game mechanic, so I made sure that if you jump while in slow-mo, you will be able to jump almost twice as high. This was inspired by a speedrunning trick in Zelda Breath of the Wild. Comment below if you know what trick I'm referring to. Lastly, I added the ability for the player to dash. To also give more control to the player, I added another mechanic that if you cancel out of slow-mo or dash out of slow-mo, you'll stop gaining vertical height. Next, I worked on making the ground infinite. The solution I came up with is to use two identical long cubes for the ground. Then once one ground is fully behind the player, I move that piece to be back in front. Something like this. Then I really wanted to give the player a reason to use their abilities. I made this blue cube that in order to pass it, you would need to dash through it. And this green cube that ignores collision when you're in slow motion. You may have noticed the game is very quiet, so I wanted to focus on some audio feedback. The sounds when you enter and exit slow motion, I just used the classic ones you'd find online, but I couldn't find sound effects that I liked for the jumping, dashing, and collisions. This forced me to get a little bit more creative, so to make the collision sounds, I banged two boxes together on my desk, and to make the jump and dash sound effects, well, I just made with my mouth. Also, I added some music. Next, I tried generating obstacles at certain intervals to keep the level endless, and this is where I really started to feel the pressure. It was already 7pm, meaning I only had 2 hours left to finish the game. So quickly, I made sure the player loses movement control after they die. Then I spent an hour creating as much different wall obstacles as I could. I'm now down to my final hour, and I still have to make a main menu and store the player's high score. It's now exactly 24 hours from when I started this challenge, and I'm about to play the built, complete version of Cubeton 2 for the first time. Before I speak more on this, I'm gonna let my first run of the game play through so you can experience the full game just as I did. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so I've been playing the game for about 20 minutes and I will say the game is actually pretty addicting. There's a lot of ways you can use your abilities to chase the game, but I'm honestly not mad at it. Sadly, there was so much more that I wanted to add to the game. I at least thought I would have some time to improve the visuals, add a tutorial section, and really dial in that But I really underestimated how long things took to make. I will be posting this game for you to give it a try, and I'd love to hear your high scores and feedback in the comments. Oh, and I gave myself a bonus 30 minutes to add a volume slider and mute button. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>